something freaking rings. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. It's e Rock Rods. And today, we're heading over to Asbury Park. We're heading over to E-Bike King. We were invited to go check out the shop. And also, there's a couple of guys that are going to be wrapping their bikes. So, maybe one of them will do a tutorial on how to wrap your E-Bike or E-Moto. Also, we got this new camera. We got the Insta360 Ace Pro because our DJI Action 4, it failed on us. So I have to send it back for repairs and I don't know how long that's gonna take. So we picked this up, we're gonna check it out. Hopefully the video is good and the audio is good. It's got this cool selfie mode. The display flips back so I can see myself. Anyways, we'll see you at the shop. All right guys, we are at E-Bike King, New Jersey. This is the shop right here. And some of the guys are already hard at work doing some wrapping. Let's go check it out. This is E-Bike King, Ken right here. Hey everybody. And uh, who are you guys? Super Solaria. And Carlos, wrapping the bike. Alright. Uh, these guys don't know what to say on camera, and neither do I, so. Alright, I'm here with E Bike King Ken, and we're gonna talk about his shop a little bit. Alright, Ken, why don't you tell us a little bit about your shop? We're located in Asbury Park, New Jersey, 814, Asbury Avenue. Whenever you're ready, come out and see us. We're here at my shop today doing a few di different projects. Got a few wheel changes going out. Got some wrapping of the bikes in the other room. And uh, you're looking at some of my stock. Uh, and so quite a few of them are repairs. We do repairs, small repairs, and, and our mod any modification you'd like. And we do sales also. Okay, so you do sales and repairs. And also. mods. And mods, okay. Yeah, you mentioned earlier about uh, fabrications and things like yes. that. Yes. Yes, we, we do a small amount of fabrication, make many different little, many different applications for people's bikes, blinkers, stuff like that, any kind of uh, like mounting of the displays for far drivers, any little gadget you might need to do that, we're capable of doing that here. And uh, we make all our own harnesses, anything we can mock up from anywhere from two to eight pin, uh, connectors, bullet plugs, anything like that, you know, we're all in, made in house, extenders, jumpers, if you want to modify from one charger to a different bike. We can make a jack to, you know, make it between so they're both compatible. So then you'll actually have two connections for two out of one out of one charger. All that kind of stuff like that. You can come see us. Basically, you're you're a shop from A to Z for e-bikes. Pretty much, yeah. Uh, we'll take care of pretty much anything. We do flats and brake repair or tune-ups, should I say? Pretty much, just walk-in basis. We could usually can take care of these in a couple of hours or two. And anything other than that, we'll let you know if we want to need to hold on to it overnight. Or sometimes, unfortunately, a week or two if we can't get the part for your bike. We only deal in OEM parts because um, they're quicker for you to get your bike back. Once we have to modify something into your bike, it's going to delay and it's going to add cost for no ad no ad okay. So you're better to stick with OEM and being that I am an e-bike shop, I stick with OEM parts so I can guarantee the customer through the, the seller, the distributor of the product. Okay, and you also work on uh, manual bikes, just re regular pedal bikes too? Um, only if I work on their electric bike. Oh, okay. The people around here, everybody recommends me to me. Um, any bike shop you head in around here, they'll tell you to come to me. If you go bike shops, are gonna tell you to pretty much hit the road because they don't work on them unless you bought it from them. Correct. Yep. I'm sure a lot of you already experienced that. And um, you know, that's just how it is. So pretty much all roads and all bike shops lead to me. Okay. Tell us a little bit about your background. Why did you get into e-bikes and uh, PEVs? Well, to tell you the truth, I got an e-bike because I started getting old. I still like to skateboard, um, so I couldn't start really doing that. My legs started hurting. I was doing a lot of construction in my younger years. As I moved on, I found that I didn't have the mobility. I found the skateboards, and then eventually that led to the electric bikes. Made it easier to get around, and that was back in 2001, right back when 9-11 happened. And we found them, we found kits online, a company called Wilderness Energy. Bought a few of them, and we said, holy shit, these things are amazing. So then we were like, hey, bought a couple more. Before that Christmas, we had seven of them in the neighborhood, 
and we were rocking around the neighborhood, and it just went from there. It went from a hobby to uh, people finding out about me through a friend of a friend, and they said, oh, this guy fixes them, so it came to me, and I was dabbling evening, weekends, whenever I had some time between work and you know juggling my life, and it, my hobby turned into a, a passion and a business. That's awesome, that's amazing to hear. Any uh, future plans for the shop? With, uh, you know, trying to help everybody with any kind of mod they'd like to. We're trying to stay up on whatever um, is coming out and what everybody's doing. We try to stay with the trend. And, uh, but we pretty much cover everything. We're more a common turnkey kind of bike company. I mean, you know, repair shop. We try to be here for the little people, the people that don't ride anything that you're wheeling around town while you're going grocery shopping. So just like, you know, average ordinary $600 bike up to $1,200. $2,600 with the common people are riding. We do them, because if we didn't fix them, they'd be stranded. Scooters too, we don't like doing them, but we do them. Flats, anything like that. Not cheap though. Good work isn't cheap, and cheap work isn't good. Yep, there you go. Any plans for future group rides, ride outs that you're hosting? Um, we're hoping to plan a few more. Depends on how everybody behaves on this one, you know? We'll see, we have a ride on uh, 420 at 420. 420, yep, yeah. next so we're Saturday, out right? From my shop. We're gonna leave out from my shop, at, you know, at 814 Asbury Avenue. And, uh, you know, hopefully, if, if everybody has himself, we'll, have, we'll sponsor a few more. That's awesome. No riding in the back of cars or nothing. Awesome, awesome. Anything else you wanted to talk about? Uh, not Anything really, else you I to mean, like I said, we, we take care of that. We service uh, many of the local police department buyings. They come to us. We take care of them. You know, it seems to work out for them, it seems to work out for me, but like if you're in the neighborhood, stop in, you know? We'll take care of any problems you have. You know, we, people come to see us and bring bikes from all over when they're uh, here in the neighborhood. People upstate New York, from people from Maryland, while they're here, they have their bikes here, they roll them in. When they hear, see here now festivals here, all the people would work for them, they were coming in my shop. Met a lot of nice people that way, you know? Awesome. Met a lot of nice people and enjoy it. Come yeah. see us. It seems like you're building up an awesome community here. It seems like a nice central yeah, hub where people can come, you know, hang out, get, get their bikes repaired, and, um, you know, just building a small community out here in Asbury Park. A lot of riders. We have a lot of people that ride the Onyxes and stuff like that. That's what we ride, and that's what my shop is filled with, like nine or more right now, but doing mods and everything else. That. But they'll all be running by the 20th of uh, this month. I think that's it for now, but I'm sure we'll be back in the future to show off some of these, uh, these awesome builds and bikes in this shop. So thank you for sharing, Ken. You rock, you're always welcome. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you. This is Edit e the bad parts out. E-bike Ken. All right, man. Cool. Peace. Ride safe. Have fun. Wear a helmet. There you go.